Hello everybody and welcome back to Fiendfolio. We are jumping in again and I have been told that I must play one of the challenges that is part of Fiendfolio. I believe it's this one here, Handle With Care. This is China, one of the custom characters specific to this challenge. I don't know very much about this challenge. I have been given a few hints. One being that I need to be careful, and two, it's quite easy to die. So I I will sort of find that out as we go, I guess. Um, we got ourselves a penny already. And another, very nice. What the hell? What the fuck hit me? Okay, I got, wait, I, I don't have health. I got hit then for exiting my item room and gained... Okay, I got hit for exiting my item room and gained a broken heart. So I'm assuming that it means 20 hits total and we're dead. I'm going to guess that means. And... Okay, yeah, I'm not really sure what, what I got. I I'm guessing it's just when we, whenever we leave an item or special room, maybe? No, because the sacrifice room didn't do it. It was just the item room. I don't know. Try and take care of these guys. Oh god, that was kind of close. Yeah, I'm not too sure. I'm not too sure so far. Seems like a interesting character. I mean, I wonder if he breaks apart like Fiend in any way. Got that. I'm sure we'll figure it out as we go along here. As I start to take more and more damage. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> wait. Oh. <laughs> Okay, okay. I get it. I get it now. I take damage if I touch a wall. If I bump into something, I take damage. That seems hellish. Uh, I am. I'm gonna quickly. Um, no, no, no. Actually, wait. Well, let's, try, let's try and do our boss first. I think in some rooms gonna be fine. Ooh, also a new boss, or a new version of. Whoa. Okay, new boss. New boss. New boss. I was gonna say is it like new champion, but no, this is a new boss completely. So cool. It's litting up these a little bit. Oh my god. I am gonna I am gonna figure out how much I walk into walls now, aren't I? Oh my god, this guy. Okay, so we've already uh, taken a considerable amount of damage here. My goodness. Oh no. Oh god. No way. I thought I got got out of the way of that. This this big pool of fire here needs to go away right now. Okay, this is quite an interesting character. I think I'm going to do a hot rest restart after this boss boss fight. I apologize, I've got a hiccup right now. After this boss fight, just do a, a fat refresh and try and try go for another run just because uh, I now understand what I'm doing. Uh, we got spawns a puzzle piece. Okay, yeah, let's, let's just restart um, and then we'll try and continue again because I actually know what's going on now. Okay, let's continue on here and see what we can do. This is going to be probably quite difficult because, like, the, th the thing is, so we we can't hit walls. That's one, that's one obviously, big problem. But two is we still only have 20 hits for the entire run. That's still pretty rough just in general. I also think my first time I got hit was due to walking into the door frame, which is probably going to catch me out a good few times because I don't think I realize how much I probably do that already. I don't know. This guy seems like he's going to be a real tough cookie to crack. Also, he's a little, little bit laggy. I'm not sure if that's just <clears throat> the game right now or what. I'm not sure. Oh, God, that was so close. I walked right into that wall as I came in. These flies are a pain. Just want to get rid of them before he can light up the room with his little, little dudes. Oh, I walked. See what I mean? See what I mean? This seems like a, a very interesting idea for an item for us right now. Probably going to heavily regret it, but I feel like it's an additional part to the challenge, so why not? I don't know. I feel like maybe I'll earn some respect if I beat him with this. He has one broken heart and can only appear when playing as China. Awesome. Okay, so we do have a specific way of healing ourselves back up, but I imagine they're going to be somewhat rare. I don't think we're going to be getting a lot of those. Oh, I got hit on the way in again. That's going to be a huge issue for me. Also, we got this guy again. 
Which I'm not sure is like a coincidence or not. I don't know. Either way, we're going to have to be careful. I, I basically, the reason I took um, Tiny Planet here is because it gives us spectral shots. Which I feel like is pretty important as this guy. I feel like, I'm guessing this guy can't get flight. Maybe he can, or maybe it just doesn't let you fly over rocks. I don't know. Because that would be a, a big, big bit of cheese with this guy, I imagine. To be able to fly over all the rocks. But obviously so far, very, very good performance on this floor compared to last time. I didn't understand that boss. I didn't understand the mechanic to start with there, so. Oh, I like the way he starts off shattered. We have to make sure we really line up with the um, with the door frames before we leave, which is something that I never really thought I'd have to consider. But I guess now it's a, it's a real concern for us. But yeah, stuff like this where we don't actually need to get near the walls, for me, is like a going to be a huge thing. I'm really going to be very careful about trying to line up with these walls, you know. Okay, you are the only enemy in here? I think you are. You are. Good. Because taking damage to a door frame is, it feels embarrassing. Feels like something I shouldn't be admitting. Okay, these guys are going to be annoying because we have to deal with all the little spiders to create, to kill the hosts. I'm wondering, I, I'm basically at the minute, I'm kind of like in the mindset of what items are going to really fuck me over? I feel like high speed could really be a problem. I should probably take that. I feel like high speed could really be a problem. Um, I'm trying to think of other things that could really mess us up. Oh, dude, 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 that, that fly. I don't know how I didn't get hit there, but I don't know where that fly came from. Did it spew out of this? Can these things spew out flies every now and again? Okay, item room, we very much need you. I, I'm guessing low speed is actually a benefit to this character. Rooms like this scare the hell out of me. Did you just did you just sneak through that gap, you cheeky little fucker? Okay. So far, so good. I've just got to play... Not, I don't have to play slow. I just have to sort of be a little more methodical with, with how, I'm, how I'm arranging myself. Okay, this guy needs to die straight away. That little bee stinger attack is a pain in the ass. Also, I quite often look at where I'm attacking rather than where I'm walking. I think that is going to have to change. I think I'm going to have to look at where I'm walking a little more often because I'm far more likely to take damage in that method than anything else. Okay, what we got here? Oh, that was stupid. Um... Bedtime story inflicts enemy with a drowsy. Enemies that slow down and eventually fall asleep. Damaging enemy will deal double damage and wake them up. That's pretty good. And we also got an angel disc here, which I oh, have a hard time grabbing. Okay, let's get out of here. Skadaddle, skadoodle. We really do. We, we basically just don't want to ever like try and walk through a door at an angle. We want to be lined up perfectly before we bother. We'll take our angel disc in the boss fight. And then I don't think the sleepiness... Oh, no, the sleepiness did work. Um, of course, obviously, it only worked until we hit them. But still, it got, got us a double damage shot on, which is decent. Don't really understand this boss, I'm going to be honest. So if it looks like I don't know what I'm doing, it's because I don't. Oh, I, um, I fell in a pit there. That is, um, that is new. Is that something that's just exclusive to this character, or is that a mechanic with this boss fight? I'm going to guess that's something that's exclusive to this character, right? But that definitely complicates things, and further makes me think that we probably aren't able to get flight as this character. Okay, we got him. <clears throat> Cracker Jacks. I don't think that's going to do anything for us. Plus two heart containers. Oh, uh, how much more useful that could have been. Um... Does this do much for us? Okay, no, we can take these, good. I didn't know we'd be able to take these. I'm glad we can. So I think the nighttime thing is gonna be particularly quite useful for us. I feel like that's gonna be something that's gonna end up being pretty darn good. I didn't actually check where this challenge is to. It's just to mum's foot. Okay. So I think we save the bedtime story thing until we find a room in which kind of it more warrants it. Free trial has ended. I feel like there's going to be a lot of rooms that end up warranting it, warranting it so... This is a room we particularly don't understand. Or, um... 
if there's a room that, that we need to be slow in, in terms of movement, because of all, the, like, the obstacles in our way, then I guess we can use that. Oh, we also got another one of these, which that actually puts us in a really good spot now. Okay, so a room like this, I think we need to um, slow you down in. Get some extra damage going. It allows us to reposition ourselves and then get some extra damage on him. So in this situation here, I'm just going to let Tiny Planet kind of do its thing. I think we've really made a good call taking Tiny Planet. It seemed like a bad idea to start with, but now it really, really doesn't. One thing I actually didn't consider there as well is how important bombs could end up being for us. Uh, just the ability to make space. I'm going to blow up the Sinitic Rock too. <coughs> I was going to say try and get smaller rocks. Everything else is useless, but we actually got it. Surprisingly so, we actually got it. Okay, I'm, tr I'm just trying to think. I s there's got to be, like, some really problematic rooms that are coming up for us. Because so far, things are going reasonably well. I'm not going to hedge my bets too quickly here. Also, another thing about this sleepy time thing is it allows us to deal with one enemy at a time, which is pretty key for us, really. Pretty awesome. One enemy at a time is, is essentially the way we want to handle every situation we can, so maybe I should be thinking about it more in that regard than anything else. Okay, okay. Didn't consider the fart blowback effects of those things. That is something that I need to remember exists. Okay, so a room like this, we definitely want to be using this. This room looks like hell. I fell straight in the pit there. I don't know what's going on right now. <coughs> I apologize for my coughing. Genuinely have absolutely no idea what's happening right now. This room is, is a pure nightmare. I mean, for one, it's it's very laggy. That that's that's more so the nightmare than anything else. I'll be honest. This room is not running well. But also, the movement through this room scares me. I also fell in a pit again. Does falling in a pit give us a broken heart? I'm gonna guess it does. It respawned us at the door, which I actually appreciate. It didn't give us a broken heart either. Okay, that room was was a laggy. I'm guessing that's because it has to like. It has to, like, render all the collisions or something. I don't know. It's, it, it's, it feels like it maybe has something to do with that. I don't know. I might be completely making that up. Is that a really big rock right there? I will take a bomb for more bombs. Thank you. Oh, so scary to, like, go into a gap to get something. Okay, it's night time for you guys. I really like this nighttime thing for just separating our encounters. One of the better items we could have got, I thought, I think, even. Midas Touch doesn't seem super useful, but I mean, I guess we'll take it. I can't imagine us wanting to walk into enemies very often. I wonder if something like invincibility, like the chariot card on My Little Pony or whatever, lets you walk into walls without taking damage. I wonder. <coughs> okay. We also got another one of these, which showing up slightly more often than I expected them to, to be honest. I thought these were going to be really, really rare. This is a double room, so we might as well use sleepy time. Let's be honest. Split the room up again a little bit. Unfortunately, it did place these guys... A less than desirable spot. <coughs> no thank you on that. Right. It does do something to the boss, but not much. We get a brief amount of slowdown from them. This moment in time, I'm just playing my cards as right as I can here. Cuba Meat, another item that doesn't do too much for us. I think... I think with the items we currently have, we have a potential winning setup. I'm not going to say that we've won because we are still three floors off and so much can go wrong in that time. Um, but I feel like there's there's a potential within this run of us doing reasonably well here. Okay, 
take care of these guys first. I think Incubus was a great pickup as well. I didn't even talk about it when I picked it up, but absolutely fantastic for us. We got another one of these. Are we just getting really lucky with these? Yeah, I don't know if we're just getting really lucky with these or what, but I like it. I, I very much like it. Right, again, another room that we use sleepy time in. I did disable the animation for that guy, which scares me a little. Okay, those dudes fire herming shots that I do not like. And yeah, honestly, Spectral, the most OG, amazing thing you can possibly get on a challenge like this. We really haven't found much money, unfortunately. Okay, any big rooms, we automatically use Sleepy Time, because it just... Why not? Why wouldn't we? And pretty much we kill the enemies instantly, because that double damage on the first hit sort of thing. Number one is fantastic. I realise we lose some range for this. And that's not amazing, but we start with really high range, and look at our insane fire rate right now. We got another one of these, which I, again, really wasn't expecting to have an extra one. I love the fact that it's like, stick yourself back together. Okay, um, come through here. I'm really, at this this point, beelining it for the item room and shop, especially when we've got good health. We did get a little planetarium challenge room here. We won't be doing that right now. I tried to quickly step off and get a glass of water to potentially calm my cough down. I don't know if it will, but we'll see. I'm a little bit worried for the mother fight itself. Okay, we got you. I, I just want to say, I don't know what to expect from you, to be honest, so... We've already been hit twice. We do have one of the pushpin horse things, whatever they're called. Uh, we also got this, which is a little playing card deck thing. Okay, not very useful. Spawn two spicy keys. The hell are spicy keys? Are they going to hurt me? They do hurt me. Okay, good to know. Um, for now, let's just grab that. It's a little bit of annoyance to get hit there for no reason. But that's the way it goes, I guess. That's just the way it is. Oh, there's one more enemy. I'm just hoping we get a few more of those horse things. <laughs> this is a room that I was about to say, 100% going to do that. I really don't like grabbing all these keys, but we might need them. These enemies, we do not want to give any sort of chance to shoot at us because they fire herming shots that are pretty brutal. They, like, split. We can get into the boss trap room here. Divorce papers? I don't think we need that. We have insane fire rate right now. Okay. Saving our sleepy time for the boss right now. Damn, I just couldn't get the angle on that guy. Ooh, this is a tragic boss room right here. I'm just going to stay at this top bit here and hope they don't collide with me. Because this boss room's really bad. Krampus? No. It's terrible. I don't have a sleepy time to hurt you with. Although Lump of Coal, just about to say Lump of Coal would be fantastic. We did get it. Okay, so we are now two floors away from victory. I'm still not convinced. I still think things could go horrifically wrong for us. Even with Lump of Coal and everything else. Okay, wait. Sleeping this guy probably wasn't a good idea, was it? I need this guy to attack me. This was a bad idea. Okay, fire. Fire one of those at me. I walked into the edge there. Damn it. Blue one doesn't do much for us. Send a green one our way. Thank you. Oh, blue one actually did something there. Nice. 
Don't, don't get careless. Don't get careless here. Like I said, there's so much that could go wrong. Oh, so nice to see one of those. Don't know what we're looking to get out of that, but I'll try it. A golden bomb's actually something that I'm pretty happy to get out of that, so... Not going to be displeased with that at all. Don't care much about that. Okay. So here we go. Great room for us here. Very, very easy. That's what we're looking for. Child's lease is actually fantastic. I mean, it's not really because the because it doesn't matter how close this guy is to us, but normally for this guy it would be fantastic. This is a slightly annoying room because we basically can't move. But won't work here. I don't like the windy paths. Windy paths are scary. Looks like we're going the right way at least. Oh no. Let's say that and I'm immediately proven wrong. Don't know what's going on here. Don't want to know. Okay, thank you. Oh, okay. I'm glad I went this way, though. Getting one of those saves me so much hassle. I think we've actually done well to gain no speed upgrades, too. I know, obviously, if we'd have gained them, we could have just not taken them. But <coughs> we went as far as to gain... <coughs> I apologize about that. We went as far as to gain a speed down. So we've further improved our position. I think Lump of Coal was an insane grab too. Basically means we don't need damage up items anymore. Which at the time we were kind of lacking. Not like a ton, but we could have done with some. And holy, we've gotten ourselves back down to full HP. Basically it's just with this setup we don't have to play very fast. We can play reasonably safe and I think that's saving us right now. Can keep a relative distance. We'll sleep everything again here. I feel like this is a good flaw to do so. I got hit by something there. I'm not sure what. I think it was creep. But I'm not 100% sure. Let's see I don't think Soul Hats do much for us. Little Horn's kind of interesting. Also, this guy's asking for a hug. I'm sorry, sir, but I'm not giving out hugs right now. Hugs are not in my wheelhouse, I'll be honest. Ooh, that is... That is very nice to get. Okay, let's keep it going. Really apologize about this cough. It's a terrible cough. Okay, don't know what we're in for in this room. Absolutely no idea what enemy we're meant to be taking care of here. There's apparently an enemy in here I should be attacking. Oh, there you go. That's one of them. There's a few more, I guess. They were just kind of hiding around. I see. Hiding in the darkness. <clears throat> okay. This thing's horrible, pulling us towards the center. I really don't like that. <coughs> Take care of you. And the boss should be a piece of piss, I think. Oh, we can get an extra spare one of those. And we'd, I, I feel like we've just been really, really lucky with those. Okay, this is great because we can take care of one boss at a time. We can literally leave the other one there to rot. I wasn't expecting to fight two in the first place, but it's good to fight them one at a time, either way. The damage that we can output is insane. Extra range is kind of nice to make up for what we've lost. And we are on to what seems to be the last floor, I think. Mum's foot. Let's see how this goes. I think we just go straight for the boss fight if we find it. If we get the opportunity to go for it, we just do. Sleepy room, definitely. Okay, we did manage to um, activate that there. You're not sleeping, sir. Another black poop there. Take care of that. 
This champion is causing problems. But we took care of everything, I think. Yes, we did. Good, good. Yeah, I think we real realistically just look for the boss here. Hookworm could be funny, but let's just stick with what we know. Okay, let's uh, let's grab one of these. Very much do not like this. In fact, so much so, I'm just not going to do it. That room is terrible. It already got hit one too many times. I do not like that. <sighs> let's keep it going. Let's get out of here. Let's get out of Skadoodle. Your dad is a noodle. Ah, oh, that was a bad hit. I, oh, that was a doubly bad hit. Oh my god. Some bad and unnecessary hits going on right now. Fortune Grub. Plus one luck all beggars and swap machines to display a fortune along with their possible payout. They really want to see people to see their new fortunes on this mod, don't they? <laughs> Unfortunately, one wrong path taken already. That's two wrong paths. I fell in a pit again. Fuck's sake. Okay, three wrong paths. Enemies that chase us are uh, problematic. Okay, we can now actually kill these things. Handling with care. I did say though, I thought I thought things would uh, possibly go wrong in the last floor, and that's looking to be the case. I mean, it's not terrible right now, but we've already been hit three times. That's not good. Uh, Acid Baby is... Honestly, I'm not even going to take it. I don't even know why we would bother. God damn, it's such a weird playstyle for this character, but what a fun idea. Hey, we got one. We got one. There's another enemy remaining in here. Oh, there they are. They were just invisible. I see you. Blank rune. I guess we can use blank rune in the boss fight. And here's the boss fight itself. All right, wait for you to just come into this swarm of shots. And here we go. It's boss fight time. We got a Yera, unfortunately. Obviously not with us. Wait a minute. Okay, terrible time to use my space bar. Because <laughs> now I'm foot stuck. I have to pause every 10 seconds to cough. I really apologize. It's not good. It's Red Mum, which is not good. But less spawns is good. Oh, damn. We almost killed her. Well, then. Huzzah, huzzah. We managed to do it. I was not expecting it, but there you go. That is a beautiful win on China. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.